You write, you write these down. The first cancer-fighting food is wild blueberries. Now, wild blueberries. Why are these so much more powerful than regular blueberries? They're fantastic. They're out, they are out in a rather exposed field, and they have chemicals in them preventing many stages of cancer at once. Not just one target in cancer, but initiation, promotion, progression stages of cancer, different chemicals, all in this very compact, pungent little berry yeah. are preventing cancer. You know, I, I've done a lot of homework on blueberries, getting ready for this. I got a little animation I think will help make this really powerful. So let's look at what happens to a blueberry. It's going out there in the wild and it's exposed to all the elements, right? It has the craziness of the weather, it's got the sun beating down on it, sometimes it gets cold it's a, as the sun goes away and it gets dark, it gets windy, it gets blown around, and then you've got pests and, and you know, in, infections and they all get into it. No, the plant doesn't die because inside of its very core, in the cells, it's releasing chemicals, powerful chemicals, chemicals. These are the ones that protect us from cancer. And as they go through the cell, they live there and they actually live in the blueberry. When we pick the blueberry and put it in our mouth, that potent little chemical gets into our bloodstream and it goes everywhere. Now let's say that in your body, you've got a cancer that's growing. That cancer is sucking blood towards us. There's the bad boy right there. These chemicals get into our body. They seep across across this blood barrier and they pull the blood away and they starve the cancer so it shrinks back down. Now, could I design a drug to do that? Maybe. It's going to be pretty tough. It takes a lot of effort for nature to work that out over the course of all known human history, but it happens to work really well.